Welcome back to Drive World. And today I'm going to be trying to play Drive World with a controller. And I haven't used a controller since they added the controller capabilities, so I'm probably going to be pretty bad at this. And to start off, I actually have to get into the interface, and I'm not sure how this works. And I first have to buy a car. I think I'm going to buy this police car. Okay, here it is, and now I have to upgrade it. Uh, this seems like it's glitching around. Oh, I jumped out the car. What? Oh, what? What am I doing? Help. Okay, I ended up finding the garage, and now we have to customize it. Oh, and I jump. Uh, all right, now we're back into it. Um. Oh, there we go. I got into customizations, and now let's upgrade it. And I want to make it for 400, but I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing to make it that score. I'm just going to go for the track piston and the race crank, and hopefully that makes it good in the 400 range. And I don't think I really need to change any of this. Uh, I don't even know if I know how to. This is really confusing. All right, I think this is good. Uh, what more could you ask for in a police car, really? And heading into the visuals, trying to pick a custom color, it seems like it's almost impossible. I don't even know what I was doing here. And now I was trying to change the suspension, but it doesn't seem like I can move the camber and offset. I don't really understand why this would happen. And I just figured out that there is doors that I can open here. Well, I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to do. So I guess this is... Oh, and I jumped out the car and I can't move. And I have put it into manual and I don't know how to switch it out. All right, I switched it back into automatic. And let's try and drive and see if this is any different than keyboard or mouse. But before that, let me go into the map so I can teleport somewhere. And I have no idea how this works either. So it seems like I'm not able to go anywhere on the map. I have to go and use the right side of the screen to teleport anywhere. And let's start off with going to the waterfall. And I have already messed up by jumping out the car. The turning seems way smoother, but I don't really see where there would be a purpose for this. And now let's try and pick a race. Um... Your city trail is good. What is that? What is that avatar? It is ugly. All right, and here we go. Hopefully we don't get last place. I forgot that I can boost and I pressed the wrong button. Uh, What is it to boost? There we go. And this doesn't seem to be doing too well. Maybe it's because it's a 400 restriction, but that doesn't matter. Oh, I think this is fifth place. I might actually pass them. Wait, did I forget to have my lights? Oh, no, my lights are on. And there we go. First race completed. That actually wasn't too bad, I don't think. I almost got fourth place, so I'll take that, especially over a 1,000 restriction car. And now I have to leave this. There we go. And now I'm going to do a different race, but I'm actually going to use a car that's good for the restriction. And for this race, I'm going to try the P1. And oh, and I'm in manual. There we go. Uh, I think I have the fastest car for this restriction, so hopefully I can win. Yeah, that was just too easy. 43rd place. That actually seems pretty good, even though I did miss the start of the race. And here we're going into a new race, but I want to actually try manual mode and controller because this is a pretty important part of the game, mainly because of races like around the world. You can get some crazy times if you use manual compared to automatic. I'm oh, I don't know how to shift up. Whoops. Um. Well, that went pretty good. How do I shift up? There we go. I figured it out, but I'm already outside of the race. So I guess we'll head on to the next race. All right. And here we are in the next race. Hopefully this goes a little bit better than last time because I know what buttons to press. Nope. Yeah, this is going pretty bad. I don't know how to shift. Oh, come on, please. No, please. Please? No, I almost had it. I guess I'm going to be sticking to automatic when I use a controller. All right, now I have just set a time on jumping jacks, and it was just the first try I did. And now I'm going to try to be with a controller and see if the controller is easier to use. So here we go. Gotta do this. Well, and I've already jumped. How am I here? All right, here's attempt two. Let's see if I'm any better. 
it actually feels pretty good and i feel like i'm going a little bit faster on some of these parts and i have just killed myself hey but we finished it at least that's all that matters okay let's let's try this again i have i have somehow opened up the buy menu and i am not on the track anymore okay take number whatever this is uh guess here we go again and i've already jumped out the car and i jumped out the car again well time to move on to the next race all right here we go <sighs> i think i can safely say that controllers do not give as much of an advantage as shooting games and now i want to try and do some food deliveries and trailer deliveries so let me see if i can get there okay so that how did i oh that's why okay here we go here we go am i in man nope i'm not in manual why is it There we go. I finished one. Uh, this definitely seems like it would have been painful to do these food delivery challenges back when they were still around. And now with that, I want to try to do a trailer delivery with a truck. Uh, so let's go and try and find that. I found a truck, but I don't know if this is the right one. Yeah, I think this is the right one. So now we have to go to a trailer delivery area. And I'm going to start this. I don't think I can pick a specific spot that I want to start at for a trailer delivery, which isn't that great because the best way to make money is to go from cafe or the airport. So kind of weird that they don't let you do that. Or I'm just dumb, which is definitely a possibility. But I'm still really good at flipping even when I use a controller. And for the last thing, I want to try and do some parkour on the building all the way in the city over there. And here it is. I guess we're just going to try it and see if it's better than keyboard and mouse. Yeah, it doesn't really seem any different than keyboard and mouse. But can I make it to this other building? No. And with that, is controller actually better than keyboard and mouse? I'm going to go with no. But I also don't think it's actually too bad. I think that there's some changes that need to be made. But I think it's almost the exact same as keyboard and mouse. So if you're thinking of switching from controller to keyboard and mouse for Drive World, it's not really different. And for the improvements that I think that need to be added to controller support is definitely fixing the suspension. And for areas like these, I think cursors would be way better than this box, which you have to bring around and it's kind of annoying to do. And I think simply just adding a cursor would completely fix this area here. As trying to pick colors for this is literally impossible and with that being said i think that's gonna be the end of this video basically just use whatever you want and see you in the next video